the Vice President of the Euro US Europe Alliance, and he joins us from Sarajevo. Really good to have you with us. Firstly, what do you make of those changes that were signed by uh, Christian Schmidt, really just after the polls had closed? What are they aimed uh, to do? Well, they're unprecedented. Uh, what Schmidt did is uh, basically make the Bosnia Croat, Bosnian Croat party into a, a, a party that, that will decide who else is in government. So you have a new provision which allows the Bosnian Croat party, the Bosnian Croat party, the AGZ, to basically choose its partners in the federation entity and to decide who gets to be in government or not. Schmidt has in many ways uh, invalidated the election results. Uh, and Bosnia is now in a position where you have a minority that's a Christian minority governing a Muslim majority, um, democr Muslim democratic majority, which is completely unprecedented uh, because it is something that nobody ever expected for the high rep to do. I mean, it, it, this will enter history uh, alongside what the colonial governors did in uh, colonies in Africa during the 19th century. I mean, there is no way to describe how surprising this is for many of the observers and everybody in Bosnia, frankly. The UN representative might argue that perhaps those changes were designed to protect uh, the fragile ethnic divisions uh, that currently underpin society across Bosnia and Herzegovina. Certainly, we have seen those ethnic divisions flare up with regards to the Republika Srpska. Would you agree that perhaps those changes were needed to allay future ethnic divisions? I absolutely disagree. Uh, these changes are going to entrench the ethnic divisions. They're going to make the Bosnian Croat party, the HDZ, even less willing to compromise. You have HDZ overrepresented in government uh, on all levels already, and this only gives them de facto veto power over government formation in the Federation. The uh, effects of this are going to be very long-lasting. They're going to be exception, exceptionally negative. They're only going to turn the Bosniak population against the West, and what Schmidt did will certainly not be able to be explained away as a mistake of an international official who really did not understand his job, because Schmidt was told by people that this is absolutely unacceptable. This is the first decision by the high rep in history of Bosnia that goes against the will of the majority of the population. Every single high rep decision, and there were several hundreds of those so far, always had the majority support of the population of the country. This is a deeply, deeply unpopular move and imposition from a foreigner that will certainly make the country much less stable than it was before he did what he did. I mean, there are many reasons for this. The, the main reason is that Schmidt is very, very close to the ruling circles in Croatia, in Zagreb. He's very close to the European People's Party leadership. And this is, a, a in a way, them uh, propping up their uh, ally, their client in Bosnia, the, the Croat Democratic Union of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, and I'm afraid that we're just entering a new chapter of a very, very deep crisis that is now instigated by the international community, by a German politician who has uh, made an extremely unpopular move. Bosnians are going to be very, very angry over this. Can I ask you now about the election itself? Our correspondent there said vote counting was continuing, that we perhaps won't get a definitive result until uh, tomorrow. What are you expecting that result to be? So two things are certain now. You have a, a, a new Bosniak member of the presidency, Denis Bacirovic, who's a left-leaning uh, SDP, Social Democratic Party official. Uh, and you have a, a continuation of the Željko Komšić mandate. So Komšić has won another four years Croat member of the presidency, who's also left-leaning. And then you're likely going to have uh, Željko Svjanovic from uh, SNSD, Doric's party uh, in the IRS, enter the BIH presidency which means that you have now two-thirds of the Bosnian presidency uh, made up of members who are uh, left-leaning or are civic-minded. And it is in a situation where you have majority of citizens siding with such candidates, you have international community de facto preventing the Bosnians from uh, implementing the election results uh, according to the wishes of the people. The party that is now favored to, uh, by the international community, the HDZ, has less than 10% of the vote uh, statewide. It has less than 4% of registered voters voting for it. 
Now, how is this going to uh, affect the Bosnian uh, long-term uh, accession process in uh, to NATO and, and EU? We, we're, we're yet to find out. But this has certainly made uh, the the majority of the population extremely dissatisfied with uh, with, with what the international community did. I must say that a lot of people are very disappointed with, that, with the fact that the British government, as well as the American government, especially Joe Biden, has decided has decided to support this move by. Uh, the German conservative politician who is now in charge of the OHR. And we are entering a chapter where, a new chapter in history of Bosnia, whereby the, the majority population is going to be much less uh, trusting of the West. Okay, interesting. Well, we will keep an eye on that vote count as well. Rayof Badrovic, we'll have to leave it there. Really appreciate your analysis. Thank you. Thank you very much.